bit of a shrub while slaughtering animals as a sign of a good luck and also had flavor to the meat. Despite some traditions being faced out among pastoral communities, the use of shrub leaves to lay slaughtered animal among the Trukana and Samburu community has stood the test of time, just like eating raw meat and drinking raw blood and milk without boiling during an important or social ceremony when an animal dies, be it a goat or a sheep or a cow. The two communities use a special kind of tree, shrub leaves and twigs as a bedding for the slaughtered animal. <laughs> Lote Ekiru from the Trukana community explained that the shrub, the local community call it Pahali, is used as a bedding during slaughtering. The shrub has been regarded as sacred as it has never withered despite the changes of the climate change and seasons variations. <laughs> Tunatumia <laughs> Jackson Lentaya, an elder from the Samburu community, it explains that changing the style of slaughtering animals and using other methods to lay the meat during slaughtering is against their customs and is regarded as a taboo. The twigs of the shrubs, locally called ilglai, must be used during the slaughtering. In sasa yu miti, hakuna ile hakuna miti ngine inaosa weka yu ngompetu iyo tu. Kama yu ngine na hizu ilglai, lakini yu mbali yu mbali. Lakini inafanya na yu kwa sababu yu yu karibu. From the outlook of these twigs, leaves and shrubs, which are botanically referred as the clear uniforiolatus, they greatly resemble the Maruaini plant. The twigs are also said to produce a good tantalizing aroma to the meat laid on them, the leaves as well have no health effects on the human health. Regan Lemegudan, Look Up TV.